is the Steven Universe vlog of historical friction. An episode that was so much better than Onion Friend. At least. See, I'll tell you, I really like Jamie. After this episode, at least. Um, I'm a theater nut myself. I've played Winthrop in the Music Man and um, a young kangaroo in Susical, so. And so, Jamie is very, very likable. He's, he's actually quite a bit like myself, like very optimistic and passionate about what he's doing. And, historical friction, I would probably say, is my second favorite episode of the week so far, only behind Keystone Motel. I liked it better than Cry for Help and an Onion Friend. But what hits about this episode so much is it really, really helps Hope Fun add a bit of executive meddling and explains how to create a character properly. Yes, and I think the show might have been tuning its own, own horn because of all their amazing characters. But um, when they, when when Jamie said that um, every character needs a flaw, I was completely with him and stuff. Any writing person is. Jamie may just be one of the best examples of referencing it and stuff. He's pretty darn good at that. So this is a Pearl only episode, but we did get to see some cosplay ideas. Slash bad ones. Pearl, so, how does this go? Um, when I'm passionate about an episode, I'll tell you, I'll probably go over its plot. And, so the basic premise of historical friction is, so, Jamie recruits Steven to do play, and the play is written by Mayor Dewey, whose hamminess is amazing. I don't like him that much, but he's pretty darn I like him. Um, so after that, with Mayor Dewey and stuff, so, um, Stephen upset at its low historical accuracy and failure on writing techniques. And now, Mayor Dewey, because the main character is William Dewey, the mayor's great grandfather, I think, or no, Buck's great grandfather, and Mayor Dewey portrays him with no flaws. Sort of reminds me of the Northwest family. But so as he portrays him as this, um, Jamie's upset, and Stephen can see, it. and Stephen, being the amazing child he is, goes and fixes it up goes to Pearl and asks Pearl to go over the scripts and stuff. Pearl makes some changes and the play happens. And it was pretty darn good. So, yeah. Historical friction, despite not being a gem history like I wanted it to be, um, was really good. Like, almost best of the week. So thanks for watching the Steven Universe vlog of historical friction.